Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm your host, Buckning, and today we're going to give you an update on the portfolio. We're going to update our tracker divins on trackerdivins.com, and we're going to update share site where we track the performance of the whole portfolio. And then we're going to talk about, you know, um, definitely this time frame where people's spirits were down based on underperformance in the stock market. And uh, now that it's coming back, but not to get your hopes up. Okay. Um, so with all that, we will definitely get started. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is where we put $100 a week into a tax-free savings account to build a dividend portfolio right in front of your eyes. If you're not new, welcome back. So on the day here, uh, we're closing out the week at $14,037.60, down $38.15, down 0.27%. For the one week, we are up $372.52, up 2.73%. For the one month, we're up $786.74, up 5.94%. For the three months, we're up $803.20, up 6.07%. For the one year, we're up $706.39. And for the all, we're up $1,906.69, up 15.72%. So as always, we make a purchase uh, today. And the purchase we made was from BCE, well, not from, but we made a purchase uh, of BCE Inc. Closing out at $66 and four cents up zero or uh, up 63 cents up 0.96%. We now have 19 shares. Average price of getting in is 61.81 and it holds about 8.97% of the portfolio. And our total return is about 6.84%, about $80.31. So if we go down here, we did make a purchase of two shares uh, at the cost basis of $65.67, which totaled $131.34. The next position, as we always update every single week when we buy a full share, is in the Vanguard S&P 500 index ETF. We do a fractional buy in this one, closing out this week at $97.65, down $0.83 cents on the day, down 0.84%. Now we got about 6% of the portfolio in VFE. Um, and we have about 8.6453 shares. Average price of getting in is $95 and 42 cents. Uh, today's re return and total return are totally off. Uh, but we did buy $25 worth of shares. So we got about 0 0.2564 of shares. And it's a, at a cost basis of $97 and about 49 cents there uh so 25 dollars total which reminds me i have not gone through the whole thing to track everything uh to make sure it's up to date so it is a bit off i missed some numbers here somewhere along the lines with uh trackyourdividends.com but that's okay so those are the two positions we bought today uh bc performed very very well i think both the telecommunications companies in canada performed very well. I know they released their quarterly earnings uh, a couple of weeks back and they did very, very well. Uh, and I'm talking about TELUS as the other one. Let's just take a look at them. And there it is. TELUS doing great today, up 1.59%. Um, and they have an acquisition going on as well, which I think they got approval for. So uh, we'll head over to trackyourdividends.com to update you guys on that side of things once I get there. And there it is. So 3.71% um, of dividend yield. If you were to build the portfolio today, um, our yield on cost is about 4.33%. Uh, thanks to the strategy of dollar cost averaging annual income at $512. Now that's without the updated position. So we'll go ahead and add those in and BCE.to because we're in Canada. It is offered on the uh, New York Stock Exchange as well. Uh, but we have purchased two shares at the cost basis of 65.67. Go ahead and add those holdings. Add those holdings. <laughs> and then we'll go to VFV and pull up what we purchased today. And ticker symbol for that is VFV. 
Vanguard.to, which is the Vanguard S&P 500. And a fractional buy, we purchased 0 0.2. 2564 of a share at a cost basis of $97.4918, not 1918. And we'll go ahead and add that holding as well. So now you can see a little bit of a change there. Uh, we've gone up 0 0.01 of a percent uh, on the yield on cost for us, yeah, thanks to dollar cost averaging, and our annual income has gone from 512 to 519. If we take a look at BCE here. Um, dividend yield is 5.57. Our yield is about 5.95 with 19 shares. And we're getting an annual income of almost $70 a year, of course, divided up quarterly. And then there's VFV and 1.15. And we're getting about 1.18. I remember that when this uh, position was just underperforming for the pretty much the first half of the year, uh, we're currently getting $9.73 a year from this one, of course, divided quarterly. So that is trackyourdividends.com. And next we'll head over to ShareSite, which I have already updated. So when it comes to ShareSite, um, what I like about them is because they offer, in, they offer the performance of your dividends. So your dividend payments are included in the performance of the portfolio, as well as capital gains. They do all of it. It's great, fantastic that way. So. Everything's added in there already. We have 19 shares of BCE and VFV is updated as well at 8.64. Um, so capital gains for this portfolio, we're down about $457, uh, down 3.19%. Dividends, we've got about $254 uh, in two cents, which is up about 1.77% in our currency gain with uh, 4X owning the US stocks in there at about $63.98, up 0.45%. And our total return is down $139, down 0.97%. Now, we may be wondering, oh, I'm pretty happy about this because we were, I think, almost at a point where we we're down 10%. Um, and now we're back up to almost breaking even, which is fantastic. And this will lead us right into um, when your hopes and and sentiment is kind of down the drain from this year you know if you're starting to invest uh this year the, the market was not looking good for you it was looking stagnant it was looking like there was no end to the drop and i don't think it's ended yet um so and and the reason i say that is because if we go from our first purchase here you know we're up 15.28 percent which is fantastic and you can just see from left to right uh bottom left to top right corner the performance is very, very well, even with the amount of volatility that happened in the first half of the year. So I guess, you know, if, if you just started investing in 2022, you'll find that uh, your stocks are probably underperforming. But remember, you are buying into to companies, you're buying into a market that technically was in a is in a bull market or not a bull market. Uh, um, a bear market and, and there's terms for that reason um they're coined that way for a reason and it won't change that's reality and and i think it's a good a good experience to experience that firsthand because i know if we remember back maybe a year two years ago anything you picked was making money so you probably uh felt like you were making good stock picks um, and remember, you're not buying a ticker, you're actually buying ownership in a company. And so that's why it's important to do your due diligence, figure out what um, they're good at, if they're cash flowing, and what you believe in. Because if you're just buying willy nilly, I don't think um, that's a good way to invest. Um, but that's not investment advice. I'm just a guy on YouTube. This is just for entertainment purposes only because I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I'm not telling you what you need to do. But just remember, if your your sentiment is in the dumps, I get it. It's not just your stock picks. It's the economy. It's the market itself. And and that won't change ever. Um, we know that. And, and it's better to experience it now than later. Just don't let what has happened in the first six months um, affect your psyche. Because it really comes down to your psyche uh, in a lot of sense. 
And, and what a better time to buy. I know you probably hear that all the time. It's, it's a good time to buy. It's a good time to buy. But when is it a good time just, just to chill? Um, well, you can chill whenever you want, but I think this is the best opportunity for those. Um, and when you start seeing <clears throat> the growth in your portfolio, when you're looking at the graph and everything, you're going to, you're going to forget about really how you felt during, you know, the first six months of this year. I know for us, we were down 5%. We were in the positive for a bit there and then it just dropped and we're still, we're still down about a percent, but look at the, look at the, um, I'll go back to the graph there. You can see, you know, we're doing just fine. I'm, I'm happy with this. As long as we break even, um, we're good in, in my opinion. And, um, it was a solid year. It just means we were, be, we were able to buy things at a discount and they're coming back up. Um, but I don't think it's the end. I think, um, there's more to come, but I don't know the only the market knows that, um, and it has, you know, included that into everything already. Um, and so we'll find out, I mean, Canada is still due for a few more interest rate hikes. Uh, we don't know what's, what that entails, uh, for the market. Uh, but we are being a bit more aggressive. Well, not we, but Canada is being a bit more aggressive in that, in that sense. And, and we're, we're seeing price drops in a lot of things. Um, not maybe, maybe in your gas price, um, house prices. Uh, but we are seeing interest rates rise, um, and real estate, that is a whole different beast in itself. Um, but looking forward to getting into that eventually. Um, so other than that guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video. Hopefully you have a great weekend. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and we'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.